my best paragliding flight ever. At this time of year, I find myself looking back over all my special memories of flying my paraglider. There have been some incredible experiences and I'm so grateful to all the crazy cool people in my life who helped me to fly. This flight wasn't the longest one I've done, but it had everything. An unknown site, a secret route, a solo mountain crossing, and maybe the regional cross country flying record? I was trying to beat 180 kilometers, set by the late Anthony Allen. He was known for pushing the distance. Back in 2016, I was preparing for my first XPEER race. I wanted to start the year right. So on the 2nd of January, my wife and daughter dropped me off at the bottom of an obscure little mountain near Cape Town. As well as my paraglider, I had a tent and some dry rations so I could camp out wherever I landed. Hopefully far, far away. I didn't know if it was going to work, but I took a gamble on the solid looking weather forecast. Steady winds from the south all day and a challenging landscape bathed in golden South African sunshine. Now, Rusty Gate isn't the best starting point because it's difficult to escape from especially early in the day. I almost bombed out after the first glide. I could hear the kids shouting at me as I flew over their houses. I had to use all my thermaling skills to just cling onto a climb in the rocky gully and slowly claw my way back to somewhere magical. I'd never seen the Western Cape from this vantage point. There's a whole secret valley here behind Villiersdorp. It's almost like the Alps. This is where the gliding club plays. It's usually too windy for paragliders. But today, I have a chance. The trick is to stay near the sunny rock faces so the air currents are going up. But around midday, I need to switch over to the far western slopes which means crossing the entire mountain range in one nail-biting glide. When I punched through to the coastal plain, the day went up a notch. Well, it went nuclear. I've never had to fight so hard to keep a paraglider open and level. Thermals were firing upwards, but it was lee side because the main wind was still spilling over the ridge from the back. But the lift was everywhere, which pilots know means fly fast. I gritted my teeth and kept the speed bar hammered down to maximize the distance. This range is a racetrack in the afternoon. I didn't turn for miles. I'd spent all my formative years flying this region, so it was like a homecoming, linking all my favorite spots. There goes Pampunfontein. There goes Teenage and Bumpy Peak. There goes Cardusi. Finally, I got the climb I needed to go over the back into the Citrusdale Valley. At last, I could ease off the speed bar and take things easy while I took in the spectacular Cedarburg. We've got 25 k's to go for the record. Now this valley can be the end of a flight for many pilots, especially in the afternoon when the sea breeze comes racing through, pushing everything towards the mountains. But I couldn't let that happen. The record was just there in the constriction. It was so close. 
I had to have it. Everything came down to this one moment. Could I find one thermal? Just one thermal. It had to be here. Yes! That's the feeling right there that keeps me coming back to this crazy sport. The wing lifts, the vario sings, and the wool drops away below you. And you become more lucky, more powerful, more free. Gliding over the dam, I could see the wind hitting in hard from the west. I was scared of being trapped over the big mountains on the edge of the badlands. So I took an easy line over the water, where I could savor the long moment of hitting over 200 kilometers in the Western Cape Mountains. Yes! 200! Woohoo! Got it in the bag! And there, there is the sea breeze. Hello! I'd never done it before. It was diabolically difficult. It needed the perfect day, the perfect line, the perfect flight. On this day, I'd done it. If you'd like to develop your abilities to fly this kind of flight, check out my cross country series on flywithgreg.com, which has detailed analysis of all the technical moves there are many other videos that will help you build solid piloting principles. Good luck chasing your dreams! Hey, what a flight. I've been trying to do that all my life pretty much since I started flying. <laughs> I've been chasing the Western Cape record for so many years and it's been pushed and out ahead of me all the time. And uh, every time I'm kind of get close, I get nailed by the sea breeze. Did it today.